Hello Lions and welcome to your AP Bio Final Project video helper. Um, for this assignment you are going to go to readylibrary.com and you're going to click on this AP Bio Final Project 2017 link. When you're here this video helper will be linked here and it will be embedded down here for your reference later on. It's also going to be in your Mac and Via group. So you can click here and this will take you directly into your Mac and Via group. Up here in the instructions are a list of the topics that are in your assignment sheet and then this right here is a <clears throat> website that you can go to. Um, this right here is a website that you can go to uh, for additional topics if you want. Um, this right here is going to make you um, force a copy of the assignment sheet and so that will be right there. Uh, once you are in the Mac and VA group I have some various resources here that I'm going to kind of walk you through. Um, first of all, this is just a link to your Google Drive, so you can easily open up your Google Drive from the Mac and Via group. This is a link uh, to the APA citations, because in science you guys will be using APA citations. So at some point, when both, right when you start your project, you're going to want to start a Google Doc or a Google Slide or something where you can keep your references. You're not going to call it a works cited, of course, because it's APA, you will call it references. So you'll start a Google Doc or a slide and call it references. This is just here in case you need help but I'm going to show you how to pull citations for everything that's in here. So let's just talk briefly. You have several databases in here that you can use uh, for this assignment. I'm going to go over most of them with you. Um, but I want to talk to you about the fact that you need to think of a database like its own little library and inside that library are lots of different items that you can use just like in our library you can check out lots of different items right you can check out nonfiction books or fiction books or graphic novels you can check out a laptop or a Chromebook or you can check out a USB drive or headphones or scissors so in the databases are various types of items that you can use these are all um, the the database or the library is not considered a source so the database or the library is just the holding zone for everything else so for instance in the databases you're going to find magazines reference and nonfiction ebooks academic journals or scholarly journals newspapers and then also encyclopedias some of the encyclopedias I'm going to talk about are there st are a standalone source while some of the databases actually contain different encyclopedias so I'm going to show you that in just a second but that is just a general breakdown of the different types of sources that are going to be in there I also list for you on this document the different databases that you, that you can find those different types of sources in so if your teacher tells you you need four different sources they are referring to the place where you get the information so I'm going to show you that so Britannica school would be a source this is an online encyclopedia it's going to give you a little bit of information about a lot of different topics and so I am just going to pick a topic for the purposes of this video so this is going to give me a little bit of information about euthanasia. Now you'll notice this is about the euthanasia law, this is about the philosophy. So depending on what you're looking for in regards to the topic will de may depend on which one of these uh, articles that you choose. Okay, So I'm going to click on this one and let's say I want to use this article for my um, project. So I would come up here to site and I would click on site and I would choose APA and then I would copy and paste this and put it in my references list. This is my Google Doc or my slide that I've started. So now at any point I will be able to come back to this assignment and or I'm sorry, come back to this resource because I have it linked on my references page. So that's the encyclopedia. Um, the next source that I'm going to show you is this Science and Context database. This is going to be a great database for all the different types of sources that you may look for. And you may find what you need from this database and Britannica School, and you may be done with your research after these two. You could certainly get all of your information from these two databases. 
So up here, it's going to give me a topic overview. So if I don't know much about my topic, I can click on this and it's going to give me an, kind of just a general overview of my topic. I can certainly use that as a source if I want to. You'll notice over here, it tells me here's all the different types of sources. They have three featured content articles, five reference articles, four images, 48 audio, 891 news. Um, sources, one video, 191 academic journals, 20 magazines. So, for instance, if I want to come over here to reference, okay, I would be able to look at this uh, top, this source right here, and if I wanted to use this, I would click Citation Tools, I would choose APA, and then I would copy and paste this and put it in my references list. You can also sign in with Google on this particular database and then I can go right here to download and I can download and save this article to my Google Drive and then I can annotate it or um, do do whatever I need to from there. Okay. Alright, so this database has different, so ev those five things in reference, those are all different sources. If I click on academic journals and I go to this, Okay, this CMAG, this is a source, right? This BMC Medical Ethics, that is a source, right? So I can find different sources. Um, Bulletin of World Health Organization, that is a source. Okay, so those are going to be different sources. All right, so um, like I said, you may be able to find what you need for this assignment just from Britannica School and Science and Context. However, I'm going to show you a couple of other databases that you may want to use as well. Um, the GVRL is going to be primarily books, those reference and nonfiction ebooks. So I can put my topic in here. And then it's showing me that there are 335 uh, books that talk about this particular topic. Okay. So over here, I can narrow it down by subject if I want. Um, and then over here, let's say that I want to use this article right here. I would come over here to Citation Tools, choose my APA citation, copy and paste that into my references list. I can, again, in this one, I can sign in with Google, and I can download this article directly to my Google Drive if I want. Um, but that's, that is how um, the GVRL works. Now, I do want to show you, too, that in um, some of these databases, there'll be these little um, colored uh, shapes. Green means that it's content level basic. Yellow is content level intermediate. And red is content level advanced, just, just so you know that. All right, so now I'm going to be over here. And I'm going to go, the next thing I might want to do is the Gale Power Search. So this might be when I get towards the end of my research and I'm looking for some very specific pieces of information. This is going to pull up various types of sources. And then down here on the right hand side you'll see this Analyze Topic Finder. If I click on this Topic Finder, it's going to have my search term here in the middle. And then it's going to have kind of these broader search terms and then these even smaller search terms. So for instance, if I'm looking at euthanasia, Americans, uh, medication, I can click on that and I'm going to pull up four sources specifically about, about that, um, that very specific search term. So this might be helpful as you get down towards the end of your research. We also have this um, database, depending on what your topic is, will depend on if you if you are going to be able to use this database, but this is the Global Reference on Environment, Energy, and National Resources. Okay, so you can use that database as well. Health and Wellness Center is going to be very um, medical topic focused, okay, but you can use this one as well. Um, Sears Issue Researcher is going to be a good one if your topic, for instance, like euthanasia, is uh, a controversial topic, so I can put in my topic, search, and then you'll notice that it has viewpoint one, viewpoint two, and so it's going to give you some different resources based on those um, different viewpoints. So depending on how controversial your topic is will depend on if you use those. 
All of these things down here with this little link symbol on them, these are simply links to websites, okay? So depending on what your topic is will depend on if any of these websites are going to apply. But let's just say that um, I want to use one of these websites. And so let's just see. Let's say I want to use um, this one, okay? In order to cite this, because it's not a database, it's a website, I'm going to have to make sure that I install this Cite This For Me web extension right here. So when I click on this, my uh, browser will either say that it, I need to add it to Chrome or it's already added. If it's already added, you should see this little blue icon up here. If not, just add it and the little blue icon will appear. So let's say I want to use this. Um, I can click right here on the Cite This For Me. Make sure I click on APA, and then I can copy and paste this into my um, references page. And that's how you can use, that's how you can cite the websites, okay? Um, as always, if you guys have any questions or you need any help along the way while you're researching, please feel free to contact me, lambertn at friscoisd.org, or you can always just come down and see me in the library. I'm happy to help you with anything you need in regards to research. Good luck, Lions.